Hello and welcome to another Indie Horror Game. This time I'll be playing a game called Words Left Unsaid and if you want to download it for yourselves look down below in the description because the details and the links will be down there, alright? You can actually download this for free. Now, this is supposed to be a noir mystery about a detective trying to solve a murder inside a haunted hotel. And it looks like a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video at the end, alright? Let's start, let's begin. That'll be me then. Will I get it right or wrong? I hope I'm gonna get it right. But it's me, so. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. And I, Spencer Byrne, got stuck in a traffic jam. Good start. How suitable for a detective, for a lead investigator. But at least I'm finally here. Hotel Lexicon, where the bar is big, room small. And the whiskey tastes like rainwater. <laughs> and where the murder happened a few days ago. I got a tip from my co-worker, Leon, that the local criminal gang Sapir's Hand might have planned to raid this place today. So where are those bastards? Hmm. Well, this place sure is empty. Here we are. Let's take a closer look at these items laying around. You mean like this ashtray, the lights? Maybe this book? Sandra Axton. All right. Such an ambitious writer. Her first book got so popular. Deserved all the praise. Okay. Pity her. Forced to stay here for days after what happened. Luckily, this is going to be over soon. Ooh. What's with these words? Hits at it again? I told them to find a better canvas. Well, I don't think this is kids Whatever. in graffiti. No, we're getting the whispers. It's a haunted hotel after all. Who are you? <laughs> Show yourself. At once. I don't like this at all. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's loads. What the hell? Okay, so let's open the notebook, shall we? Old school pen and paper. Okay. The bulletproof method of not forgetting your own thoughts. Right. There's just something about sorting your thoughts on paper. Mark them down, find them out, as they say. Uh-huh, mark them down, find them out. What exactly happened? And in what order? Right, okay. So would these be the choices that we've got to use? Yeah, I think so. Another clue is currently collected, so it's just got to be one of those, it seems. And then one of these three. This is not your order. And one of those. Job. Not ink, blood, or a lipstick either. Right. Why are these words so glowy? <laughs> better write this down. Yeah, okay. Well, let's maybe get rid of those, actually, because I don't know if they're the right ones. But let's see. We've got a little bit about Hotel Lexicon over here. This place sure has been here for a while. Where the city meets the suburbs, Hotel Lexicon happily hosts everyone. Families, business people, travelers, thugs, and outlaws. Me and my friend Leon as well, of course. Hotel Lexicon's bar is a lively place to stop by after a hard day of work. Uh, yet, after what happened, it's truly a shame to see this place so quiet. So, we've got a little bit about Sandra Axton, a famous crime fiction author with an ambition. She got popular after publishing her first book, Quiet Streets Near Pandora's Avenue. Okay. Right. I found all the evidence, we just need to collect the clues and then put them in order. So first, and then, and then finally. Right, so... Out of these three, I travelled to Hotel Lexicon to solve a case, right? I didn't come here to relax, I'm not in the wrong place. Uh, everything's not fine. An unknown, an unknown presence certainly did just whisper to me. So out of these three, I, uh, I, I was delayed, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Putting these in order... Is it... Okay, so we just click, and then then would be. Well, I was delayed before the unknown presence whispered to me. So finally, well, is it is it that order? Um, I'm. Let's say I'm sure about this, and then confirm the solution. Well, Spencer. Okay. You're smart. You're a detective. Thank you. 
You've got this. All right. I've got this. Yeah, I've got this. I just gotta solve the case as always. Exactly. She'll forgive me. She'll forgive you? What are you talking about? Okay. Looks like more purple and pink this way. I do quite like the style of this. Yeah, it looks quite sort of wireframe, doesn't it? Ah, well. Well, this is the murder scene. So it would seem. Um, right, so it looks like we've got three evidence to find. This would be one of them, you'd think. This is where the body was. Jay Rayner stabbed to death okay. with Hotel Lexicon's letter opener. Right. Brutal. Not the worst I've seen, though. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Listen, oh. I'm done with this life. Those interviews sparked something in me. I want to change. All right. And I'm going to tell Axton, no matter where it will lead. And as if it mattered jack shit, what I confess to anyway. The family ain't running out of business. Sapir's hand has survived worse. You do whatever you want, but I do not want this life anymore. Are you insane? <laughs> Just fixing up a new happier life after getting interviewed for some trashy cash grab of a novel. I'll only say this once. Do not, and I cannot stress this enough, ever. Come clean with the secrets of Sapir's hand. Right, okay. Think about your family for once. All I've been through was for the family. Fucking hell. She inspired more in me than the family ever did. And what if I already spilled a few secrets? Ooh. Jay, I, Jay, you're nothing but a petty grunt. Maybe that should have been edited out. Your hands. I deserve better than this. A life of peace, not this piece of shit family. You'll be just fine, Mr. Fucking Ooh. Untouchable. You talk about peace like there would be any for your kind. You will not walk in again and endanger the family business. You will not. Well, try and stop me, asshole. Oh. I think he did. In fact, I think he's doing that right now. Ooh. Doesn't sound pleasant at all. Okay. And that's the end of uh, that's the end of her, right? That's the end of Jay Rayner. Yeah, murdered with a letter opener. So what's going on with this? Right, hang on. Oh, we've got some text here. Okay, so these are the choices. Well, yeah, these are the choices for one of them. Um. Well, J. J. Rayner was murdered. It would be that one. Yes. Okay, so it looks like there's a book over there, and yeah, what's this? It's a, I don't a like garage. The sound yeah. Of this. A garret. That's right, yeah. But J. was stabbed. With a letter opener. So what's going on there? Sandra, Sandra. Oh, this is Terry, Staying J.'s hot brother. Mexican after the murder? Right. Either you've got yeah. the nerves of steel. Or you're stupid as a mule. Either way, I will get my revenge. Our revenge. Okay. Sneak in, break in. Garot. Efficient. Won't leave blood. Okay. Get away quietly. Oh, but gun. old Tommy here to back me up if it gets messy, yeah. Old Tommy the gun. Alright. This guy had a plan. You don't mess with Sapir's hand. You don't mess with my family. Right. Terry's gonna come for you. I will come for you. Oh. So that's the end of the flashback? Does that mean we get more text? Yeah, that's right, okay. Need some strength to pull that kind of a murder off. Right. Won't leave any fingerprints. Might leave your cologne, though. Well, I think he was looking for revenge, right? You are laughing. I was a little bit, yeah. A murder planned for her because of you. Because of me? No. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Or is she alive? Is she dead? Is she alive? What do you mean? You mean Jay? Who are you? <laughs> Why wouldn't she be? What? what? Sandra? 
could have... You? Sandra, a hell. Right. I need to solve this quickly. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm doing my best. This is a little bit confusing. It's a it's a strange, strange murder case to solve. I wasn't expecting to be solving it like this. Um, so yeah, I think I made the two choices there. So there's this book as well. That's the third bit of evidence. Sandra Axton. Right. On the cover. Okay. I helped her with the research for her second book. Writing crime fiction sure is a job, huh? And she was gathering insider information from Sapper's hand. Right, okay. Well, these recent events will surely inspire her. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Jay would have deserved a death better than a murder by a fucking letter opener. Right, okay. Jay, you were a bastard, but always appreciated literature a bit too much. Interviews at the hotel, you spoke. Sandra Axton listened. Uh huh. You done fucked up. Maybe she planned to kill you all along. Commit a murder, make the media dance. Authors and their ambitions. Popularity sure gets to your head, doesn't it? She murdered you. Okay. We're gonna get text over here. Is it around the evidence? Or? Sandra is the prime suspect. Hmm. Last person seen with the victim. Right. Interviewed Jay Rayner in the hotel bar. Uh huh. Then headed towards the rooms. Should I have told? No. It would have caused some real trouble. It was just a couple of interrogations. Okay. Nothing major. I still got time to solve this. She'll forgive me. She'll forgive this me. Oh, here we go. Wasn't here before. What is this text? <laughs> what is this uh, text? Whatever. I need to here we are. This. I get the hell out of here. Okay, so out of these three, Terry didn't participate in any interviews. Sandra did hold them. So it's that. So I think I've got the three. It's just getting them in the right order, I suppose. Right. Okay. Well, I think we've, we've got to start with Sandra holding the interviews, right? And then... Then Jay was murdered. I I don't think by Sandra though. It was someone else. It was it was question marks. But uh, yeah, and now it looks like Terry Rain is looking for revenge. Yeah, it's, it's Jay's brother, right? Yeah, like those three in that order. I'm pretty sure about this. <laughs> let's see. Am I right? Come on, let's get two for two. Yeah. Okay. Cool. The choices do actually matter in this game, it seems. I think there are actually, like, maybe multiple so, endings, different paths this is to go how down. how it went. Sandra Axton. She was here in Hotel Lexicon, interviewing okay. Jay Rayner for her second book. Right. Sandra respects people with a backbone. So Jay was inspired and wanted to start a better life. Okay. Hmm. Bold move, given that Sapir's hand is not of the forgiving sort. Hmm. I almost admire that. Anyway, someone did not like the plan yeah. and murdered Jay. That's right. Jeez, what a way to go. With a letter opener, right? So seems like Terry Rayner, Jay's brother, came here to get his revenge. Uh huh. Bringing that with him and a gun. Sandra in cold blood with a garage. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, don't forget about Tommy the gun. Sandra, I wish you had just interviewed me and left it at that. Look where this went. Okay, three more pieces of evidence to find. This. Cool. Her. Where this got her. Oh, what the hell? This got her where you got her. It seems I'm really to blame here. Right, if this is a horror game, it's a psychological horror game, right? I'm to blame. I'm guilty in some way, shape, or form. Did I end up killing Jay somehow? Fuck. I don't really know. Okay, so it looks like we're moving on to... Another room, I guess? Hang on, let's just see what we got down here. Okay. It's quite a quiet hotel, really. Yeah, I don't think I have any choice in opening the doors. I think they'll open for me as and when. So, 
Okay, this is actually telling me about room two, so I'm just going to read this aloud. This is about a hired killer. Hotel Lexicon. This place never disappoints with the amount of murders being prepared here. Based on these items, whoever stayed in this room seems to be a professional killer. Someone must have paid a great amount of money for this, which means that someone must have had a strong motivation. I wonder what it might be. Well, let's have a look. Maybe we can find three pieces of evidence that point to what's going on here. Is this text also you're doing? Whatever you are. <laughs> Mr. Lexicon, sir. Coward. So, you only respond when you feel like it. Coward. Okay. This looks a lot like the other one. Nobody on the floor, of course. Um... Something over here? No book in the drawer. Can we get this open? No. No coat hanging up. Ashtray. Something. Something's in the bin. Okay. Well, this seems interesting. The hotel's address, agreed time, a woman called here on purpose, and... Huh? Ooh. That's My another one. Name? What, your name? Spencer's name? Damn kid. Sending me on a fool's errand to an empty hotel. Okay. Where the hell is my target? Might as well call and ask. Nobody to uncover me in this hellhole. I'm sure Whoa. she is a hired killer. Whoever sent her, it couldn't have been one of the raiders. They wouldn't operate where the hard kill is taking place. Not their style to outsource either. Could still be someone else from Sapir's hand. A third party must be trying to keep a big secret here. But who? Out of these three, this one seems like the most likely. A, ki yeah, a hired killer was sent after you, or me. After Spencer. It looks like there's going to be another piece of evidence up here, this knife. Poignard. Poignard, okay. A long, stake-shaped dagger. Right. This is no regular weapon for a regular person. She must be a professional. Oh, that's the third bit. Any particular way you want this done? It needs to be quick and quiet. Spencer can't have a chance to react. It's me! It's me! That can be arranged. Quick stab with a poniard through the medial rib cage and the tug at the heart. Just be professional to make it look like it was Terry Ray. This is the same person that killed Jay, right? I'm Eleanor Fidel. And that's Eleanor Fidel. No, Croft. <laughs> okay. Just make sure you send the money before I take off tomorrow <clears throat> night. All right. It's dexterous. Get it's gonna be. Someone really had it out for me. Jay, however, was killed in heat of the moment. A professional wouldn't cause such a mess. Had to be someone else who killed Jay. Right. Gotta trust my gut here. There you trust. go. No. No. You think you know everything, yet you say nothing. Your arrogance could be your death. Death. Maybe that is for the best. You cannot be trusted. What the hell? I still don't know what you are. I am the words of others, the words of someone, words of past, and the words left unsaid. Words are me, and the words are mine. Okay. Make no sense. <laughs> but, but I need to know what happened. I need to know for her. For her. For Sandra, I take it. Yeah. Not so much Jay, but okay. Alright, this hotel's here just to torment me, isn't it? That would make sense. Anyway, I think the third piece of evidence is actually this phone here. <laughs> Lady Luck smiles on me again. The dial is stuck before it could fully reset. Okay. Someone must have used this while staying here. Alright. Well, this would be the killer, right? There's no one here, kid. What do you mean, nobody? The lobby's empty. Most rooms unlocked. That Spencer guy is nowhere to be seen. No. Just the author woman, alone in her room, raving nonsense like a lunatic. Oh, right. Where is he? And what about the ring? Ah, oh, never mind. I'll... I'll take care of this. I'll call him again, make sure he's coming, and yes, everything will be fine. Everything Stop will be fine. panicking. Do not call him again, and do not come here. Else I will have no part in such incompetent foolishness. Hmm. Oh dear. He hung up on me. <laughs> this isn't good. No. <laughs> well, 
He paid good money. So you're just going to take the money and cancel? A phone. Oh. Wait. Leon called me twice tonight. It was really weird the second time around. First time, he was his usual self. Told me Sapir's hand planned to raid the hotel. Told me to get here as soon as possible. That's it. I got stuck in traffic. And then Leon called me again. Right. It sounded almost angry. <laughs> it was him? Adamant I was needed at the hotel at once. I thought he had trouble because of the raid, but... Right. Did it have something to do with the hired killer being here? I wasn't where I was supposed no to way. be. I'm not making any sense. Why would he do that? Leon and I are friends? You sure about that? Being late did save my life, though. Yeah, thank so fuck for traffic. Oh, oh shit. Self-absorbed coward. Thanks. Saved me barely. A waste. In those circumstances, I did my best. I can save her. I can still save her. Right. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna do my best. So, I think I've picked out the three that are correct. A hired killer was sent after me. Uh, a hired killer planned to kill me with a point yard. I mean, it's right fucking there. Um, then, yeah, the hired killer called her employer, which might be my friend because I wasn't here because of the traffic. So, in that order, maybe. Let's see. Uh, so, yeah, a hired killer was sent after me. Planned to kill me with a point yard. I mean, I don't think she planned to kill me before she was sent after me. So, let's, let's assume that was the then. Uh, and then, I, of course, I didn't arrive. So, finally, the hired killer called her employer because I wasn't here. I'm, I am sure about this, right? I don't want to get this wrong. Some and I didn't. Hired a killer to eliminate me. There you go. I was late, so Eleanor Fadell couldn't find me and called her employer. Considering how Leon called me the second time, my gut tells me that either he is her employer mm. or he was another target. Yeah. I hate both possibilities. <laughs> but how does this unnatural voice fit into all of this? Oh, it's just your standard haunted hotel. By the way, I really am just trying to solve this case here. <laughs> get a grip. I'm doing my best. God, I should get inside your brain, scramble it into paste, and splatter it in the walls. You have to? Okay. No, not yet. Spencer, not yet. What the fuck? <laughs> I... Is that the fate that awaits me if I get some of this wrong? Oh. Sounds like that's another room opening down the hall. So what, this is going to be what, is it room room three? Room three, okay. Oh, this is about Leon. Right, my, my friend? Or maybe the hired killer's employer, I'm not sure. Leon, my dear friend, my most loyal co-worker, a fellow detective, all tangled up in this mess. Hotel Lexicon's bar was one of his favourite places to spend time at. After work, of course. I always thought it was just because it's a lively bar, a lot of people chatting and dancing, a few darker shadows near the walls for sure, but they never bothered us. We never bothered them. Now I understand why. Okay, it sounds like it's him. He's the employer. Which would actually make him be the person that killed Jay, because I think it was the same voice actor. That's interesting. I'm trying to work out and then place the accents as well. It seems Scandinavian. It might be like Finnish or something. Honestly, I'm not really sure. Okay, uh, well, there's a, there's a difference over here. There's something underneath the television. Oh! Oh, this is one of them. That medallion. Okay. It's Leon's. Funny that. I've never seen what's inside. Well, take a look. Leon Vaness. Please don't be involved in all this mess. <laughs> I think he is. There's some keys. Ah, that's so, one. Oh, Jay. Why did you call me over? I wanted to run something by you before I... You know how I advise Sandra Axton. All the talk about how a criminal would and yada yada. Right. It, it got me thinking about life ah. and, well, what Granny used to say. Family takes precedence. What are you coming to? Well, I think there's a truth bigger than that. Oh? Look, as we grew up, the more we got used to this dark shit of Sapir's, I think I've grown past that. Huh? 
So you would abandon us? Decide to tuck tail and run after some half-baked ideal after all we've given you? <sighs> and what about your brother? He ain't running. I talked with Terry. He's not happy. But he doesn't resent me for this. Mm. Unlike you. As if there were any other answer to what you just said. Leon, listen, you old fuck. <laughs> you yourself decided to live a double life. Right, yep. Get a cover. Yep. Skirting the family. Barely belonging anymore. Who the hell are you to judge me? Jay? I really thought you of all people would Jay, get me. Jay, he's gonna kill you. It is not the same thing! Oh boy. Listen, I'm done with this life. Don't forget. Those interviews. That's what preceded the previous part that I listened Anna to in room one. Precedence is written on the side. And ah. a family picture with blood on it. And these teenagers are... Oh, God, it really is him. Right. Leon, Jay, and even Terry. All part of the same happy family. I never would have guessed that Leon would be part of Sapir's hand. Ooh, we're what discovering quite a lot. Right, anyway, out of the three choices, uh, Leon Vane's murdered his cousin Terry. No, no, no. No, that's not true. That's not true. This is true. Leon murdered his cousin Jay Rayner, and we heard it a little while ago. So there you go. Right, so there's another one over there. There's also some keys over here. Hotel Lexicon's key ring. Right. Explains who left the door open for Terry and the hired killer. Right, so he let them in. It was her, right? Okay. You're just as sure as I am? Look at the news. Who else would it be? Yeah. Though it's us who feed those news dogs. As I'm sure you're aware, Leon. But tell me anything you know. Did that Sandra Scribbler accident really kill Jay? Hmm. Yes, Terry. Uh, we do think so. But... Don't you bug me! I will find and kill that little shit! But... We are keeping the author inside the hotel for now. For safety reasons. I can help you get in. With these keys. You'd help me? Indeed. Why? Because family takes precedence. Nice. Okay. Except... Here we are. Leon called me here because Sapir Sant might raid the hotel. Mm-hmm. That Sandra was in danger. Well, that was a lie. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes. No. Oh, Please. yes. No. I'm just trying to save her from this mess. Hell, I need to find Sandra. I hope she's okay. All right. Well, this is it, isn't it? Leon, let Terry Rayner and the hired killer in for me. Yeah. It'll be that one. All right. Yeah, he didn't force his way through, he was let in. Okay, so finally, the last piece of evidence in this room, it seems, is this chair against the door. One of its legs is splintered. Someone has been furious. It would have been perfect. Miss Fadel would have succeeded and disappeared. The hired killer, Terry right. would have gotten the blame for both murders. Uh-huh. I just happened to be here to anonymously report and then <sighs> disappear into the night. What a coincidence. It would have been a great plan if Mr. Lead Investigator had shown up. Again, Unexpected thank fuck for traffic. Delay my ass. <laughs> Answer, you bastard. You will come to the hotel. I won't let you blow my cover with the false alibi you planted. You see, Spencer, I'll come out of this clean. Get rid of that stiff carcass of an altar for the stupidity she planted in my cousin's head. And get rid of you for eternally making my job harder. Mm. When Sandra and Jay left Here we the interview, are. Sandra came to her own room to be with me. Ooh. Okay. But they that was weird. didn't know that, did they? I never told. I said I was at work instead. With Leon, so always. Ah, okay. He didn't object to me using him as a false alibi, because he was the murderer all along. The truth comes to I light. I should have guessed. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I, this 
This is why is I'm getting tormented. Really my fault? Kind of, yeah. Oh. Yes. yes. Lead investigator. <laughs> We're the lead investigator. You were not blackmailed. Not anything. The coward were the crown of the lead investigator. Everything I did was because it was necessary. I couldn't solve this case if I had lost my job. Hmm. Thanks for that, Hotel. Anyway, we've got three more to choose from. Uh, we've already got the other two, and I'm pretty certain about those. Leon Vane's hired the killer to murder you. Well, that that's for sure, right? Um, I, I, I think it's that. Like, Leon Vane's plan to murder Terry Rayner. No, that's not true. Uh, Leon Vane's plan to frame the murders on you. No, I think Terry was going to get framed, really. And the killer was going to slip out to kill again. So that's it. The, these are the three right here, okay? So again, we just need to get them in chronological order. Okay. So... I suppose it would start with Leon murdering his cousin. That's right. Um, Leon would then hire the killer before letting the hired killer in. That would be very coincidental, I think. Yeah, you gotta hire the killer, then the killer and Terry would arrive. Yeah? Okay. So far, so good. I've been, I've been pretty good with this. Right? I'm sure about this. Yeah. C confirm solution. Ah, yes, solved again. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming that's correct. That must be it. Does it say something Leon, if I'm wrong? <laughs> who is somehow a part of Sapir's hand. Right. Murdered Jay Rayner, who was about to spill too much information. Sandra's ideals must have affected Jay. Yeah. Leon sure didn't like that. Apparently not. Well, I happened to give Leon the perfect false alibi too. Mm. I claimed I was working with him while I was with Sandra. He took it without raising any suspicion either. Like a friend. Like a murderer. But Leon must have gotten afraid I'd blow his cover later. Right. I was here after the murder and took the case. Thus, I was an easy target for Leon to dispose of and take over the investigation. Hmm. He likely intended to frame all the killing on Terry. That's it, yeah. An easy way out. I was late today. That messed up Leon's plans. I love traffic. I really love traffic. The text on the walls. The yeah. voice. They are your doing, aren't they? Right. Finally, you're right. Ooh. My doing. This is all your fault. Ah. <laughs> I am your fault. You're my fault. What have I done? I just wanted to save Sandra. I didn't think it would come to this. Right. Uh, I guess I'm guilty of much, Where much more. She? What have you done to her? What... What have I done to her? Right. Is that it? Are we done here? Hmm. Yep. That'll be another door. Okay. I suppose that would be the second to last door, unless of course this one leads to another corridor, which I suppose it could. So far, so good. I actually quite like this game. It's really quite unique. It's it's not much of a horror game. It's more of a it's you know it's more of the noir mystery, very stylish noir mystery. But it's pretty interesting. I'm kind of into it. So, okay, we got like a folder or a file here. No, some books. Ah. Uh, what have we got here? There's a key! Right, this is one of them. This is the key to one of the rooms. Okay. Overthinking is bad for you, Sandra. Oh, this is Sandra, right. Don't do it. Just write the fucking story. We might have had a thing, he says. How long has it been? Whatever. Trying to get it. <laughs> I was here. He was here. Someone else must have been there. But then Jay was dead. Right. Uh, this is fucking useless. You got scared. 
After everything you said, Spencer. After everything I said, okay. Total lexicon. Your walls are falling over me. What is this echo? Why? Who? Oh. Why? Why? Why indeed? Yeah. That sounds like the hotel to me. Sandra. Here we are. Here we are. Sandra got obsessed over the truth. Well, that seems like the most likely one. There was nothing about her escape. Obsessed over her book. Uh, no, I, I think it's more the truth than the book. So let's go with that one. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So hang on. The... Yeah, the, the hotel Sandra. Sandra's the hotel, maybe. She's speaking through the hotel somehow. We've got something over here. Ah, yes, this is that one. script of her second book. Oh, right. A sequel to Quiet Streets near Pandora's Avenue. Right, okay. here. So, what's this one going to give us? Sir, you ended up being surprisingly good comfy. Uh-huh, well, we did have a thing. to myself. Can't lie to you either. You don't see it like that, do you? Because you're afraid. Right. Well, maybe all this research has been worth it after all. Sapir's hand, guilty of every crime imaginable. Talk about realism in gangster fiction. Hmm. Thanks, Jay, for telling me all this. Thanks, Jay? Oh. Ma'am, I need you to come with us. What? What's going on? There has been a murder. Please put on your coat and follow me. That was Leon. Putting on the facade. Sandra, I should have been open about us. You've never talked about it. Look where it got you. Look where it got her. Uh. Uh. Honestly, I'm not quite so sure about this one. Never told you don't feel the same way as Sandra. You always told Sandra how much you cared for her, or you never told you do feel the same way as Sandra. Well, that there's a couple of you nevers, so it, uh, maybe one of these. Uh, I can I come back to this later? I suppose I can, right? Okay. Oh, could we? In theory, listen to that again. The script of her okay, that might book. help, to be honest. Oh, we can the skip it. Good, that's nice. Quite streets. No, right, we don't need that. Scattered here. Yep. Spencer, you ended up being surprisingly good company. Apparently. I can't lie to myself. Can't lie to you either. Okay. You don't see it like that, do you? Because you're afraid. Is that what she's referring to? Well, it's like this, maybe or? all this research has been worth it after all. Okay. It's a purse hand. Guilty of every crime. Thanks, Jay, for telling me all this. Ma'am, I need you and to come And then Leon comes in. What? There has been a murder. Right. That's... Okay, I'm, I'm thinking it's one of these two. I don't think I told Sandra quite so much. Anyway, we need to find one more bit of evidence. Fuck it, let's, let's go with this one. Um... I'm, <laughs> I'm really not sure. I'll have to come back to this again. Could I listen to it again? Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. I can't listen to it again. Shit. Okay. Well, I, <laughs> I still need to find another piece of evidence here. Is it the glass, the ashtray, one of the chairs? You think it would be somewhere over here, right? I mean, I assume that these doors don't open, do they? They do not. No. Okay. Probably not the light. The cup? No. Oh, hang on. There's something in the chair by the looks of it. It's hard to look at, but yeah, okay. Her favorite ink pen. Ah, Sandra. Basically, danced on the paper, trying out her messy notes. Okay, all right. That's all I know. You don't believe me. He was with me. Did you ask him? Who's the he? Me? He's my only witness. Fuck! 
for these proper rocks, dudes. <laughs> Hotel Lexicon? Is this really the only place I can go? Ugh. I'll take this over the rocks jail anytime. Ma'am, I need you to calm down. Yeah, again. Yes, yes, this is all part of Leon's plan. You are allowed to stay, but you will be under surveillance until the investigation is completed. Hmm. And I'm gonna let Terry in to kill you. Fuck you, Spencer. Why didn't you say anything? So you're ashamed of your own affairs? Great. What a downgrade from the suit we had. <laughs> Maybe I'm too harsh. Maybe he was blackmailed. By Sapir's hand? Yeah, she's Maybe. talking about me, isn't she? Well, she must have some fucking reason, right? Right. 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 Just I have time to finish this cursed book. Is this what being captivated by his presence is? <laughs> the interrogations oh. were not that bad. It was everything that followed. I have been searching for the truth because I need to know. The truth you've kept from everyone. Look where it got her. You should pay a visit to the reception. Better book now. This will be your final resting place. Oh, brilliant. No, <laughs> but I, I, I... Okay. Could you get rid of that text, actually? Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I couldn't really see. Uh, I don't think that's true. That Nothing was mentioned about that. It was, why didn't he say anything, right? I guess I didn't reveal the truth about... Yeah, mine and Sandra's affair. And I was the witness that could have helped her, but I shut the fuck up about it. So uh, that's it, I think. And I, I didn't do that. No, I didn't. Okay, so that one's clear. That one's clear, right? About her obsessing over the truth. Okay, and if I'm doing this in order as well, because I'm going to have to do this in order, in theory, it would be... It would be the one at the bar, so it would be that one, theoretically, if that's right. I don't know if that's right. I'm really not sure about that one. Um, I hate the truth about Sandra's affair. And she was brought here. She was under surveillance, but she could still try and figure out what had happened. Because when I was looking at that one, like this one, the key, you know, she already knew that Jay had been killed, she had already been... Huh. Maybe, oh god, I don't know, maybe I should listen to that one again. Yeah, she was just trying to figure it out. She was trying to figure out why. And she was referring to me, I think, as well. Fuck. And I definitely can't look at this again. That's a little harsh. I guess you get two tries and that's it. Um, okay. That might be right. Hey, it's been good so far, right? It's been good so far. Let's see if I can do what, five in a row? So it does tell you when you get it wrong. So what, am I, am I fucked? Is this my final resting place? Damn it. I'm just trying to understand all this. Really, I am. You still cannot understand it. Or we wanted the truth. The blade they blamed on her because of your lie. Right. Think you can just walk in and apologize. Uh, Think you oh. have anything left to give. You don't. I won't let you hold her. Whatever you are, I will go through every last corner of this cursed hotel. <laughs> fix this. Yeah. I will fix this. Okay. Watch me. Yeah, you just watch me. You just fucking watch me. So can I, like, undo that? Can I actually try and fix this? I can't listen to that one again, but... Can we undo these? It doesn't seem like it. Look at all those! Solved! 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 Incorrect! Maybe, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't that one. Maybe it was that one, or it was that one. Maybe I did tell Sandra how much I cared for her. For whatever reason, that wasn't abundantly clear. I'm sorry. Oh, I was doing so well. Okay. Oh. Oh my. Holy shit. Okay. Did the other door open? Oh, it did. I, I didn't hear it to be honest. But Psst, Spencer, Spencer Byrne. What do you want? Oh wow. What a visual. Sandra? Oh, that's Sandra, her! You're here. 
Her words are... These texts? She is the hotel, isn't what she? What happened? Are you alive? What do you want? <laughs> well, it looks like I found all the evidence. That I guess there's nothing more to find. Um, the typewriter? Oh. This is her. This is... This is me. Sandra! I'm sorry. I... I tried to piece it together. I never knew it would come to this. Spencer. I... We need to go. Come. Here, I'll help. Don't worry. I'm okay. It's all okay. I'm glad you're here. You don't understand. But it's okay. I... I know I messed this up. But the case doesn't really matter. At this point, I just want to get you out of here. Out of whatever that is. You don't understand them, but you don't need to. Hmm. You don't understand me either. I wish I did. But you don't need to. You didn't know if I was still alive. But it's okay. I forgive you. Forgive you? That voice. It's still here. Forgive me? I... Well... Sandra, are you okay? We need to go. Can you move? Spencer... All your paramour adoration... Affection... Thank you. Lies. Thank you for telling me. Showing me all that. Empty words. Showing me... What you are. I could have said more. You are not making sense. I'm sure I can sort this. Of course you can sort it out. You can sort everything. As you just did. I trust you, Spencer. You, you can, can always fix it. The truth lies before your eyes. And your narrow mind cannot comprehend it. I have missed your smile, Sandra. But you are not yourself. Please come back. I have missed you, Spencer. I can make the media forget this. We can forget this. Eventually. Please, Sandra. Are you still there? Forget this? Like you, you forgot, forgot about, about me? me? Being too busy with your lead investigator role? The words you caged inside your chest never escaped. And they never will. Don't ask to forget. You will never forget what you should have said. What you left unsaid. You can always solve everything. But you haven't solved me. Not after this. Goodbye, Spencer. Ah. Uh, Sandra Axton. You are poetry. Oh dear. No. No, no, please, no. Please. Sandra. Shh. Just come here, Spencer. It's going to be okay. Stop. I'm here for you. Stop it. My thoughts are mine. They are mine. I need them. I need them to solve. To see the truth. Shh. We'll figure it out. I'll take care of the words you could say. Oh boy. This is the hotel possessing me now? Oh fucking hell. Ooh. And sent back to the very beginning. Okay, well, there you go. That was words left unsaid, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like or dislike the video. Let me know what you thought about this. Ah. <sighs> Obviously not the best ending. I think I missed out on a good ending by getting the last little bit wrong. This was like a giant test, and I got the last question wrong. I thought I knew about the story, and I think I did really know the story. I knew what was going on. I just didn't know how I felt about Sandra. Or rather, how I... I didn't know about how I told Sandra I felt about her. That's the thing 
I think I got wrong. Because she was definitely obsessed with the truth, right? I didn't say anything about the affair. Those two I'm certain on. It was one of the other three on the floor. Or if not that, I got the right choice, but I got the wrong order. See, I don't really know how I fucked up either. That's a real bugger. So yeah, I think I did just miss out on potentially a, a good ending, if there is one. I don't know, maybe that is the only ending. Maybe there is no... There is no redemption for me. Maybe I'm guilty, maybe it always ends like that, but... It really does feel like I was on the, on the tip of, of getting something really good and I fucked it up. Bit of a shame. But I'll allow you to download this game for yourselves and see if you can get that good ending, okay? Again, the link is down below in the description. You can actually get this for free. So, words left unsaid. Overall, I enjoyed it. I like the way it looks. It is a stylish, noir mystery. There's not much horror involved. It was quite creepy and eerie, the way that the hotel, Sandra, the, the typewriting, but it's speaking to you, the whispers. That was pretty creepy, but it was mainly about the mystery. It was mainly about trying to solve the murder and um, finding out that Leon is an absolute asshole and betrays you. Yeah. Well, there you go. Bit of a shame I didn't, you know, I didn't complete it fully. I didn't get the best ending. I didn't get everything right, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the experience nonetheless. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. That'll be me then. Will I get it right or wrong? I hope I'm going to get it right. But it's me, so. <laughs> You're a detective. Thank you. You've got this. All right. I've got this. Yeah, I've got this. I just Jay, I... Jay, you're nothing but a petty grunt. Maybe that should have been edited out. Try and stop me, asshole. Oh. I think he did. In fact, I think he's doing that right now. I need to solve this quickly. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm doing my best. This is a little bit confusing. It's a, it's a strange, strange murder case to solve. I wasn't expecting to be solving it like this. What is this text? <laughs> what is uh. this text? I'm pretty sure about this. <laughs> Let's see. Am I right? Come on. Let's get two for two. Yeah. Okay, cool. Came here to get his revenge. Uh huh. Bringing that with him and a gun. Sandra in cold blood with a garage. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, don't forget about Tommy the gun. Leon and I are friends. You sure about that? Being late did save my life, though. Yeah, thank so fuck for traffic. Wow. I am sure about this, right? I don't want to get this wrong. Son. And I didn't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh yes! No. Oh Please. yes! If Mr. Lead Investigator had shown up again, I'm thank fuck for traffic. Yeah, C confirm solution. Ah, yes, solved again. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming that's correct. That must be it. Does it say something Leon, if I'm wrong? <laughs> it, was, it was late today. That messed up Leon's plans. I love traffic. Why indeed? I'm, <laughs> I'm really not sure. I'll have to come back to this again. Could I listen to it again? Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. I can't listen to it again. It's been good so far, right? It's been good so far. Let's see if I can do what? Five in a row? Oh, wow. What a visual. Oh, dear. No. 